And thank you guys Tolkien for sponsoring this video. It's been more than a year since I filmed my most viral video titled How I Learned English by Myself for Free Without Studying It, Language Learning Tips from a Polyglot. After a year and a half, I realized some of the mistakes that I did in the beginning. And also if you compare my English skills now versus back then, I think I improved quite a lot. I feel like I can express myself, my thoughts and my feelings more accurately. So today I want to introduce a better and updated version of the method that I showed how to learn a new language on your own. So let's get started. But before starting, I want to give a disclaimer. Relying only on this method in the very, very beginning of your language journey might not be the best choice. Therefore, if you want to give this a try, I would recommend to reach at least A2 level of fluency in your target language. But basically, reaching A2 level is not that hard and you can get there about in a month or two. You can, of course, use this method from the beginning, but I personally would not recommend it. There's some scientific data proving this method. Some people commented it, but I don't know it. So this method works for me, but might not work for you. Just take it as a grain of salt. You can use this method for any other languages, but since I use this method in order to learn English, let's talk about my English background. I took English classes as my main foreign language till high school. In high school, I took German, so I wasn't really getting English lessons in school, and I didn't get any special education when it comes to English. And also, I didn't attend to an English international school. Most of my friends who are fluent in English went to English international schools, so they were taught every lesson in English, but that wasn't the case for me. So I just basically went to regular schools that weren't really good teaching English. In majority of the countries, English is a mandatory choice, but not everyone can speak English fluently. I actually have a video where I explain the details about it, but basically we do too much input. The education system relies on too much input and we cannot do much output in lessons. For example, we always listen and read things, but not every school really approaches more talking, more writing and expressing yourself type of activities, which I understand because there are a lot of people in one class and if everybody would, if everybody had had a chance to talk and express themselves and do more output it probably cannot be you know fit into a regular school time schedule i think so i do understand it however if you want to learn a language on your own we should look back to the methods that didn't work for us and then improve those methods and become better with them. So therefore, my method relies more doing on output rather than input. According to my favorite books author, Kawasaki Shion, he has two books called Input Dictionary and Output Dictionary, where he explains how to do effective inputs and outputs. He explains that the golden ratio of input and output is 3 to 7, so 30% input and 70% output. I do relate on that quite a lot. However, in the very early stages of learning a language, input is more important than doing output. In order to do quality output, you need to do enough amount of input in the beginning. All these things might not make sense right now, but I'm going to explain in detail. So let's begin. So now let's talk about how to become fluent faster and let's talk about the cons of this method. Learning a language can be really hard if you do all these things on your own, especially this method is really relies on yourself so you need to be really disciplined and you need to really do all these things the best way to improve much faster is giving a solid feedback to yourself each time but if you do it yourself you might not be able to give solid feedback each time because it will be really objective it will be more subjective cons of this method is that when you learn something wrongly you're much likely to do that mistake over and over and over again i was mispronouncing the same words repeatedly like foreigner i was saying foreigner and like purpose, I was saying purpose or something. And I only realized that because of you guys. You guys commented that my pronunciation is wrong. I didn't have a YouTube channel. If I didn't have native speaker friends, I don't think I would be able to realize my mistakes. So it is always important to get actually feedback from other people. And the biggest con of this method is not getting a solid feedback. You give yourself a feedback. You might not know your mistakes. Doing mistakes is not a problem, but when you learn something wrongly in the beginning, it can be really hard to fix it 
afterwards. Therefore, I recommend today's sponsor, italki. Italki is an amazing platform to learn languages with native speakers. There are more than 150 languages you can choose from. I'm pretty sure that you can find your target language on italki. So in these 150 languages, you can take one-on-one -on -one lessons with native speakers. I didn't know italki existed or I didn't know any language apps or platforms. I wish I knew in the beginning because it would be much easier for me to get better and to improve and to learn the language. I'm not saying this only, it's a sponsorship. I'm saying this truly because I do believe that this platform is an amazing platform to learn languages and to practice and to get a solid feedback. Find a bunch of native speakers and the great thing is you don't need to stick to a schedule. You can arrange your schedule and also let's say you didn't like a teacher. You can choose other teachers and you can try out different people with different teaching methods and find out who suits for you. So let's say you're looking for a teacher, you can use this filter and choose the English language filter so that it will show you teachers who are native speaker in English and that can teach you English. You can click to the teacher's profiles and learn more about them, about their teaching styles and then decide which teacher you want to continue with. You can pay per lesson, therefore there is no commitment. If you didn't like something or if you want to give it a try and you know, try different methods, of course, you can always do that. They offer three trial lessons for a three trial, ah, trial, trial, three trial lessons with a up with a discount up to 50% off. Here's the problem, italki offers free italki community. Practice your English with native speakers and also do free practices. Sign up for italki for free from the link down in the description below and also they offer coupons and rewards from time to time. Don't forget to check them out. And thank you guys Tolki for sponsoring this video. Before starting to learn a new language, I think it is important to specify your goals because according to your goal, the method that you will use will really change. My goal, my only goal to learn English was back then, I was following a YouTuber called James Charles. Hi sisters, hi sisters, hi sisters, hi sisters. I used to be a huge fan of him and I wanted to understand his videos. And that was the only reason why I wanted to learn English. For for me, formal talking or grammar was not that important to be honest because I wasn't planning to use this for any professional occasion. Because I had a clear goal of learning English, it really helped me through the journey. Because when you don't have a goal, you cannot test yourself very much, you know? If you have a goal point, you can compare your current level and then see what you need to do in order to reach this level. But if you don't have a clear vision, you cannot really track your process and then give yourself a great feedback. And also, methods that we, you will use will change. Therefore, for starting to learn any language, it might not be English at all, it is important to think what your actual goal is. Some people might want to learn a language for school or education purposes or maybe business purposes. And some people only want to learn a language for fun. And both of them are amazing reasons and just need to know you want to do. Okay, so the step one will be choose what to watch. If you don't know, I learn English watching from YouTube videos. As I said, input in the beginning is crucial to sound natural and sound more like a native. I'm not saying that I sound like a native whatsoever, but by watching YouTube videos, you will most likely hear more daily conversations, especially in vlogs where people talk about their daily lives, like lifestyle creators. I would recommend watching their videos, especially English native speaker lifestyle like YouTubers because they talk about their days, what they're gonna do, how they're feeling these days. Today was supposed to be my rest day, but I'm feeling a little sore, so I just wanted to do a little bit of like light workouts and, and they update you about their life. And I feel like in those type of videos, you can catch up so many phrases that native, native speakers use in their daily life. If you don't enjoy lifestyle type of creators, you might also check Netflix or maybe other TV series or movies or maybe songs Songs, whatever you enjoy but the important thing is to enjoy the process the main goal of my method is to enjoy the process so that and so that it won't be studying you know you're just gonna watch YouTube videos but with a better mindset and I don't think that it's really studying to be honest step two is watch videos at normal speed with subs try to understand what they're saying instead of only watching when you're watching a video truly concentrate on that video and try to read the subtitles and try to understand what they're talking about 
stretch every day at least an hour to make it a habit and make it a part of your day. You need to make the new language a part of your day and you need to practice every day, you know. And day by day, you will realize that you all understand more and more and more. And with the time, you will not need subtitles at all. Zoom media only in your target language. It might not be really possible for you to do if you especially have school work to do, but at least try to consume more media in your target language. It can be Japanese, it can be Korean, it can be, I don't know, like Arabic or something. And try to consume as much as possible media in your target language, even if you don't understand it. If you are able to understand what they're saying in a video or a podcast or movie, subtitles move on to the next step third step will be watch videos without subtitles at least for an hour every day so we did enough input in order to understand videos without subtitles now it's time to do more output after watching every single video or a movie or a podcast episode try to explain it to yourself try to summarize yourself and when doing all of these try to summarize them in your own words this is crucial do not use any translator because you will actively try to recall some of the words and some of the words and some of the meanings and this is a crucial step becoming fluent and sounding natural in your target language it's really convenient to translate immediately but you need to give yourself a bit of time to think about the words that you know or you don't know you need to come up with them but if you cannot really find a word after like maybe thinking you know, a couple of minutes you can of course look it up and then you can maybe create a notion page and add your like vocabulary list or something talk to yourself in your daily life it might sound crazy but i was always talking to myself i was trying to explain different circumstances to myself like i was kind of acting like i have a friend who i talk in english and i was trying to do some daily conversations with myself which was crazy but in my previous videos i talked about it and a lot of people were doing this method too so i'm not the only crazy one but you can do it try to talk to yourself like i remember looking into the mirror i was doing my makeup and i was acting Acting like I'm a beauty guru and I'm I was explaining the whole makeup steps in English self I was alone in my room that that's how I learn English and it works so I recommend time when you say something out loud try to think how can I say this in my target language and if you don't know look it up because that's the sentence that you said in your daily life and will probably be ne necessary in your target language too so it is actually a great way of studying you know just like mimicking yourself like how you talk in your main language and then trying to say it in your target language when it comes to translators I think they're not the evil or anything it's always depends how you use them but it's really convenient to look and search it up on translator immediately but most of the time growth doesn't come from a place comfortable oh it sounds cheesy but i think it's true when you're able to understand videos without subs and you are crazy enough to talk to yourself every day and made it a habit move on to the next step fourth step will be read in your target language if you don't read excuse me what are you doing with your life please start reading immediately please even reading is not your habit maybe which is a shame anyway <laughs> i'm just kidding you can read whatever you would like to it doesn't have to be a very complicated stuff even in the beginning if you're not able to really understand you can even read like kids books so many nice and good kids books actually that you can read in your target language and me it's actually really fun to understand the book in language that is not your mother tongue so one thing great about reading is that oftentimes in books they use more complicated um, sentence structures that are not really used in daily life so it will really help you to improve your vocabulary and also maybe your grammar and it will also teach you to how to express yourself better in your target language in daily life I feel like people use the same words again and again and again but if you want to really improve, I think reading books are crucial. And I think I should read more books in German and also in English to improve my language skills even more. And after reading every chapter, of course, after doing inputs, we always need to do outputs. Therefore, to summarize a chapter or anything in your own words, while reading some books or newspapers or online news, whatever, to watch an hour of videos without subs every day. 
the step five will be speeding up the videos to 1.25 to 1.5 and the important thing about this step is that oftentimes native speakers talk really fast like they don't they don't talk slowly therefore if you get used to the faster version in the videos you will easily understand native speakers and take a bit of time to getting used to it and then some people do not enjoy it at all but I personally love um, watching videos at triple speeds or so because I get bored easily so speeding up things really helps and do this method at least for a year for an entire year every day six will be continue more than a year you might think a year it's gonna take me a year excuse me it took you multiple years in school and you couldn't learn it and now I'm introducing you a method where you can learn in about a year maybe or two of course you cannot learn and become super fluent in language in a couple of weeks or so if you do your everything you might be able to become fluent in a couple of months I don't know there's some people that can do it in my life learning a language is not the main focus of my life a part of my life the main goal of this method is enjoying the process and when you enjoy the process actually time flies like obviously in a year you won't sound like native I think I don't sound like native even now it's been how many years I don't know two three or so but when you compare to the beginning I think I improved and I'm improving more and more day by day thinking about this method I feel like if I didn't have a YouTube channel and if I didn't if we didn't have a weekly podcast which is milliseconds apart where actually we don't do it weekly <laughs> we've been lacking consistency these days however if, if I didn't have native speaker friends like Matt and Izzy and if I weren't talking to them every week you know doing zoom calls every week an hour or so and I don't think I could improve this much I'm I'm pretty comfortable when it comes to English I read quite a lot of English books, I have a lot of meetings, I need to write a lot of mails and also my uni is also in English now. Learning English gave me so many opportunities, like it gave me a job, got into uni and I made a lot of friends, even like some relationships and not only English, any other language can give you so many opportunities, you can meet a bunch of people ever says that everybody knows English these days you don't need to learn any other languages no if you want to truly communicate with a person talk them in their mother tongue they would really appreciate it and you can connect with them deeply even though my only goal was to understand James Charles I am really glad that I did that and I you know spend a lot of time consuming English media and trying to talk myself and I'm really proud of myself and for doing that and I'm in a place where I couldn't imagine a couple of years ago. Oh, I'm gonna cry <sighs> these days, but <laughs> anyway, I'm so glad that I learned English. I hope you enjoy your language journey too and see you in my next video.